to drop off a letter. They wanted all my income tax. What are you doing bugging me? It's been 23 fucking years. Make sure from now on that you only talk to them by email. Start keeping email records. I do it by letter. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess that's the, the other alternative. Just don't do it over the phone unless you're recording phone conversations. Yep, I've done all that. Trust Anytime. Me. And it didn't do me anything. In At fact, least it's some kind they, of a record. I had a court order and they have canceled it. They have changed it. Yeah. How can they do that? You can go back and ask the court to uh, well, give a better I, definition. That's what I want to do is go back to the court and say... Clarification is called. How can they change what the judge said? Were you in family court? Pardon? Was it family court? No. Provincial? Yeah. I guess. Court. Well, you can you can go to the courthouse and ask for the forms to do a clarification of a court order. Well, that just makes something up. Well, oh, you mean the, the courthouse? Yes. Yes. Well, I thought about that because I just found out that what I should have been making 23 years ago. They're not even come close to that. Because that was in the old dollars and now it's new dollars. It's a car accident? Yep. Okay. They sent me a letter telling me that this is what I should be getting. This was our court order. But they're changing it. They're they're taking away medications that they've been getting for years. Well, you don't need it anymore. Do you have a lawyer? Oh, I had a lawyer. Did you have a lawyer or a liar? No, well, I had both. Yeah, both. I had a, at first I had a lawyer, and then he, then I had a liar. Because he sold me out, and he said it right to my face. He said, I had to sell you out. You got a husband that can take care of you. These other people can't. Well, the filing fees were already paid by the first lawyer for that case. So you can go back and ask for a form for court he, clarification. He did stuff that I had no idea about until just lately. Can you believe that? You can go to the library. Oh, you can go to the library. It's called the Canadian Protocols of a Lawyer. I've spent it's that about that thick. And anything that they do that's in that book was wrong. So they're you, you really get their butt on their I own. Have two books in their SGIs this big on what no fault is and what should be done. I put all of that information. Did it do me any good? No. We'll have to. I couldn't pay any more to a lawyer and because they sent him all the money and I got nothing. Well, then he's got to provide a bill of he's all of his charges. Not, I don't know where he is. He's probably dead, I hope. Oh, well, as long as he's a practicing lawyer, he's registered with the Saskatchewan Law Society. I was going to sue a lawyer in Vancouver. And you have two years to do it in. And when the two years were almost up, I went to the server. No, oh, she's out of business. Yeah. So I, I waited too long. <laughs> I know I've had that happen too with the two years. But if you don't know, you don't know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I had him and then I had another one and then I got my accountant. And he cost me thousands of dollars, but he was really good. He, I mean, I've, he's known me for years, so he knows every year what's been going on here. So he started to fight for me, but it would be good. We got something together, Bob. And sir, what are you protesting? Protesting for injury benefits. For a car accident too? Yeah. Anybody that's been in an accident in Saskatchewan. That you uh, want to do a coalition together? Kind of. Is that what she was signing? Um, kind of. So, which part? 
Uh, because well, I'll sign a petition. Great, right, so we'll sign a petition to either get another insurance company as an option instead of just SGI. SGI operates in other premises and they have option, but we don't have an option. So we want to have an option instead of choosing somebody that makes money off of our banks. And you know what I feel really bad about is they advertise on TV about us getting another car insurance, more insurance. Well, you know, the city was swindled out of 1.04 mil. You know about that. Oh, well, somebody phoned up City Hall. So that's just an example of what you find out that they do with your money. They're never going to get that money back. They say that they've already started to get it back because they've frozen in the banks. No, we're going to pay it, and that's going to be the end of it. No. Were you guys both drivers or passengers? I was a passenger. I was well, there's no such thing as no fault insurance for a passenger. You're not the driver. I know. But how else am I going to get insurance? I had another insurance, but kind of close. I was a letter carrier. Well, you're probably trying to go after, I'm not being Some rude, life. but a couple hundred grand. Because you see, you could take them no. to small, well, you could take them to small claims court yeah, for free. So we've got to get everybody together to make a difference and expose all the things that are happening here that are incorrect. If you could have insurance for the same amount as me, they'll give you a hundred thousand and me they'll only give fifty thousand. Yeah. It's not the same across the board. But you can also request their settlements under Freedom of Information, public records check. Because I did that when I settled my lawsuit. I was a passenger in the Safeway parking lot, so not going very fast. And a person backed up without looking. But they scrimped us from one tire right back to the other one. But irrelevantly, for that speed, I settled for 30000 No, but uh, I had it within two days. Really? Why so quick? Because I have nine screwed up discs. And if you had your leg cut off above your foot, and now you're in a car accident and you lose your leg up to your knee, you're considered a whole person. They can't deduct you because you were missing your foot. They have to take you as a whole human being. And now what happened to you? How you got there is no result. What's important is, but I'm here now. But they like to intimidate. I'm an advocate too. I do federal, provincial, and rentalsmen. So uh, I'd suggest starting your own YouTube channel. There's lots of people that just sit and talk on their channels. Lots of people just do makeup shows, whatever shows. Can you add your info on there for the support group and for the petition that just started? And the talks? Does it need to be written or printed? Whatever is the most legible. And printing. Do you need an address? No. Nope. Okay. Because sometimes they want lots of information to make it legal. Um, do you have a phone number? Well, do yeah. you have a phone number in case we've got to get a hold of one another. My cousin was the first advocate in Saskatchewan. And he used to protest outside of their buildings. People would look at him. But he started uh, the first program. And when he died, one of the tur churches on Spadina there, they were full.
Is that readable? Yep. 236 though? Yeah, because I'm I live in BC and here. Because I I'm privileged, I'm retired. Yeah. So uh, I have a suite here and uh, a suite in uh, Mission BC. And I have my marijuana license, so maybe while we talk, I should light this up and protest with you. I'm going to shut this camera down because I want to go to the cop shop next and do a records request for DUIs.